So we saw how we modeled our blog in a relational system. So let's talk about how we would model this in MongoDB. Hopefully you'll find that it's much simpler. First, we still need collections. So we still need places to put things. So we would first probably have our posts collection here. And that document would look a little bit like this. So we'd have our underscore ID field, which has you know some value in it. And then we'd have the title of this. We might have our author here, and that could be his username or his email or kind of whatever we're looking. Or we could store both, author and username, and denormalize a little bit. Um, we'd have the content of this thing. Comments, we can just kind of put right in line here. So comments could be an array. And so let's do one comment here uh, where we'd maybe have the author of that comment in here as well as the content of it and maybe the date. And so that's one comment, but we could put a couple more back here. And so we can store the comments in line directly. We can do the same thing with tags, although in tags are just kind of strings. So MongoDB and we'll store awesome as well. So tags and then maybe a date down here. So at the end of the day, we've got posts and comments are embedded directly in line. It's very natural and it's a good way of doing it. We call that embedding. So embedding documents, embedding arrays. Uh, tags is here, so no separate table or anything for that. Um, so all we're really left then is we kind of need an author's collection as well. And that would look very similar. It's mostly flat. So we would have um, an underscore ID there and the author's name maybe email, again, the password, which is, again, hashed and not in plain text. So now this is much simpler, and this is very natural for you guys to work with. You'll, you'll notice that this maps nicely, especially in .NET, this maps nicely to a class. We would have a post class with title and author and content properties. We would have a tags property, which is an enumerable of string or a list of string or something. Comments would be a, a list of comment class or an enumerable of that comment class. Dates are just date time. So, so we don't have to denormalize or we don't have to map like the whole relational mapping and decomposing and whatever. We don't have to do any of that. It's very natural to represent these things as classes in .NET, and, and the .NET driver will handle mapping those for you, and we'll talk about that in week two.